In our previous problem, we found a Jordan canonical form with two Jordan blocks of size 2. Here, we're going to have a Jordan form with two blocks, one of size 3, one of size 1. Key difference here, we're going to focus on finding a generator for the 3x3 three three block. So, find a matrix P that puts the following 4x4 four four real matrix A into Jordan canonical form. As before, we start by finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for A. So we start with the characteristic polynomial. When we compute this, we get lambda minus 2 to the fourth power. So again, we're going to have only one eigenvalue equal to 2 with multiplicity 4. Now, to get the eigenvectors, we're going to compute the null space of a minus 2i. So we'll get this matrix here. And then recall the null space is just a set of all vectors v, such that our matrix times v is equal to 0. By inspection, we note here we'll have as a basis 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 0. If I call those vectors v and w, we check our work by applying a and making sure that twice our vector comes out. So I'll leave it to you to check that. Now, that means the eigenspace has dimension 2. That's not enough to get a basis to diagonalize A. So we're going to use Jordan form instead. Now, because the dimension of the eigenspace is 2, that means we're going to need two Jordan blocks. Next, compute the size of the largest Jordan block. We find the minimal polynomial. Now, the minimal polynomial divides the characteristic polynomial, so we know that it's going to be some power of lambda minus 2. If we compute a minus 2i, we get a non-zero matrix, so it's not lambda minus 2. If we square a minus 2i, it's still not equal to 0, so it's not lambda minus 2 squared. But if we cube a minus 2i, we get 0, so our minimal polynomial is lambda minus 2 cubed. That means the size of our largest Jordan block is equal to 3. Since we have two Jordan blocks, one has size 3, the other one must have size 1. And if we put the 3x3 three three block in first, our Jordan form looks like this. Now, if we want to find the basis that puts A into this form, we should first decode what the columns say. So if our basis is V1 through V4, we have that v1 goes to twice v1, v2 goes to twice v2 plus v1, v3 goes to twice v3 plus v2, and then v4 goes to twice v4. So v1 and v4 are going to be eigenvectors. In our previous example, to find our basis, we wrote out our equations, plugged in our eigenvectors, and then we solved for the other two vectors. That worked because our blocks were the same size. In general, if we start from the eigenvectors, we have to use some trial and error. Now, if we want to get our Jordan form in the first shot, instead what we do is we look for generators for each Jordan block, and then we can work our way down to each eigenvector. So to do that, we're going to set up a series of null spaces. If we fix an eigenvalue, I'm going to start with the null space. We have the factor for our eigenvalue raised to the exponent that appears in the minimal polynomial. So in our special case, that's just going to be all of our four. Then we're set the null spaces for the lower powers. It's going to give us a chain of inclusions. At the bottom, we're going to have our eigenspace. Now, in general, we would set up quotient spaces and then use those to pick out generators for each Jordan block. Here, our example is small enough that we could talk it through in English. So the idea is, I want to pick a vector that's in here, but not in here. That's going to generate a 3x3 three three Jordan block. So we'll get three basis vectors, and then we can get our fourth basis vector just by inspection. Now, for a vector that's in here, but not in here, I'm going to use 1, 0, 0, 0. 
in general. The vector I would need to use would have to have x non zero, y, z, and w equal to anything. So one, zero, zero, zero is gonna be our obvious easiest choice. Now, one, zero, zero, zero is gonna be what we call V3 and our equations from the previous board. So we'll have V2 equals a minus two i V3. V1 is equal to a minus two i V2. We work them out. I get 0, 0, 0, 1 for V2 and 0, 0, 1, 0 for V1. I note V1 is an eigenvector, so it's on our lowest level, so we stop there. So this gives us the basis that goes with our 3 by 3 block. Now, note, if we didn't have the equations from the previous board, not a problem. We just identify this vector here that's a generator, and then we just keep applying a minus 2i. So v2 is a minus 2i v3, v1 is a minus 2i squared v3, and then if we apply it one more time, we get zero, because v3 is in this null space. Now, that's our three by three block. To get the remaining block, we note, okay, it's a single block of size one, so that means we're gonna have to use an eigenvector, so I can use any eigenvector that's not in the eigenspace for the three by three block. So I'll go with 0, 1, 0, 0 for V4. With our basis, we can form the basis matrix P by loading the Vs in as the columns. So we get this matrix for P. We note P times P transpose the identity. So P is equal to P inverse. And then I'll leave it to you to verify that P inverse AP is equal to our Jordan form.